hello guys welcome back to our channel code elevate in the previous video we wrote the code to call update expense api in our angular application and in today's video we will create a new page for income with routing and after this we will create income reactive form as well so let's get started so in our angular application first of all we need to create income component and to do this we will right click on this components folder and we will open it in integrated terminal and here we need to write the command which is ng g for generate c for component and we will name this component as income and as you can see our income component is ready now we need to create a route for this component and to do this we will open app routing dot module dot ts file and in this file we will duplicate this expense route and after this we need to update the path and we will replace this expense with income and after this we need to update the component and instead of expense component we will mention income component and with this our routing is completed now let's save this file and let's open income folder and in this we will open income.component.ts file and in this income component first of all we need to create a form group and we will name this as income form and the type of this will be form group and after this we need to create a list which will hold the categories of income and we will name this list as list of category and we will set the values in it of salary freelancing investments stocks bitcoin bank transfer youtube and other and after this we need to create a constructor for this component and in this constructor we need to inject form builder to build the reactive form and after this we will inject ng message service to show the messages to the user and after this we will inject router to redirect the user to other pages and after this let's click on quick fix and let's add all missing imports and after this we need to create income reactive form and to do this first of all we will create ng on init method and in this ng on init method we will use income form and after this we will use form builder and we will call group method and in this group method we need to mention the controls of our form and in the first control we need to get the name of the income and we will name this as title and after this for the by default value we will set it as null and for the validators we will write validators dot required and after this we need to mention the control for the amount and we will name this as amount and for by default value we will give it as null and for validators we will give validators dot required and after this we need to get the date so we will create another form control with the name of date and after this we need to get the category so we will create another form control with the name of category and at the end we need to get the description so we will create a last form control with the name of description and with this our ts code is completed now let's save this file and let's open income.component.html file and in this file we will create a div and in this div we will create another div of n0 and in this n0 we will create another div of ng column and for ng flex we will give it as 2 and in this div we need to create a card so we will use ng card tag and for the ng title we will give it as post new income and after this we will create a form tag and for the form group we will bind this with income form and after this we will give it a class of custom form and after this we need to mention the form items so we will use ng form item tag and in this ng form item tag we will write a tag of ng form control and for the ng error tip we will give it as please input the title and in this ng form control we will write input tag and for the type we will give it as text and after this we will give form control name as title and with this the form item for title is completed now we need to create another form item to get the amount so this time for the type we will give it as number and for the form control name we will give it as amount and after this form item we need to create a form item to pick the date so we will create ng form item and ng form control tags 
and in this ng form control we will use ng date picker tag and for the form control name we will give it as date and after this we need to create a form item to get the description so we will create ng form item and ng form control tags and in the ng form control tag we will use text area and for form control name we will give it as description and after this for ng auto size we will give min rows as 2 and max rows as 6 and after this we need to create last ng form item to get the category of the income and in this ng form control we will use ng select tag and for the form control name we will give it as category and in this ng select we need to show the options as well so we will use ng option tag and on this tag we will apply ng for loop and after the let keyword we will name the single category as category and after the off keyword we will mention the variable list of category and after this for ng label we will give it as category and for the ng value we will give it as category as well and with this our form items are completed now let's create a button and for the text we will give it as post income and after this we will disable this button if our income form is invalid and with this our html code is completed now let's save this file and let's run our application and as you can see our application is up without any errors now let's go to the browser and let's test the functionality of our income page and in the browser we will click on this income menu and as you can see we got redirected to our income page and on this page we got income reactive form and in this form we have the controls for the title amount date description category and at the end we have a button for the post income and that's it for today's video in the next video we will create income service and after this we will write the code to call post new income api